Okay, so three, two, one. What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another discussion video here on the channel. And today we are going to be talking about Xenoverse 2 because right before I recorded this, right before I sat down to record this, the Canton City TV in the game had some new trailers for us, mostly just the dispo trailer showing off the gameplay and stuff. And we're not actually going to watch the whole trailer here because of like copyright and that kind of thing, but. There are a few things I wanted to go over in the trailer because it's a, it's some interesting stuff and I want to just speculate and talk about it. So the first thing, shout out to Janemba8000 for actually uploading the full Canton City TV broadcast because that's actually what I needed to talk about. So first of all, the first thing I want to go over is, again, we're just going to skim through this video to talk about some points to make. So first, it's confirmed right here. Fast forward. Right here. The Supreme Kai of Time says we might as well summon one more warrior. So they're talking about one more because the whole storyline going on here is they summoned UI Goku and Dispo through Shinron. They said they might as well do one more. So it's confirmed we're getting another character. But uh, let's keep going. So Shinron, is that okay? Shinron's like, it's done. And then, yeah, Trunks says the final warrior is. And then, of course, it gets cut off by few. So we don't know who the third character is, but that's the first thing I want to talk about. I feel like most likely it's going to be another character from the hero vote, which to me, it's like kind of obvious it's going to be Bergamo, which I am perfectly okay with because I actually really wanted Bergamo as the person to win for Dispo even. So I voted for Bergamo. So if we're getting top three, I'm okay with that. Like getting all three of those in this game would be fire. Now, I know some people are going to argue that we're going to get stuff from the movie. But the problem is it's only one more character. Because from the movie, I'm at least expecting Gamma 1 and 2, Gohan Piccolo, and then whatever the final villain is. I don't, um, I haven't like seen anything. I know people are coming out with spoilers now for the movie, especially because we're close to it being released. I haven't seen anything, so I don't want to get spoiled. But I don't know what the final villain is. But it's pretty clear that there's going to be a final villain. So I feel like those five at least are going to be DLC. So I think that's going to actually be its own separate pack so whatever's happening here i think it's gonna be bergamo as the character we get but it could be something completely separate from the hero vote as well that's definitely possible but i think most likely it's gonna be bergamo i'm hoping bergamo and then the other thing i wanted to talk about this video shouldn't be too long. i really just wanted to get some points out the way so another thing they showed is if y'all remember that dlc we got about the tokipedia where we got to pick like different paths that we could go down and it would lead to like the like different events would happen based on your mentor. It was that DLC with Fu with or with the Tokipedia. So right here we're actually getting a continuation of that where Deborah, because I think at the end he got hit with his own attack and got turned to stone. But now he's actually breaking out of the stone here, and he's like, "I'm finally free." He wants to get revenge on. Fu. Oh, I guess the broadcast. Yeah, okay, the broadcast. Uh, It looked like the broadcast froze here. That happened to me while I was watching. So, um, yeah, when well, I didn't even realize, he says they might win. So, Deborah here is talking about, like, before this, he was talking about how he wants to get, basically, he wants to find new allies to help him out so he can find few and get, like, his revenge. So, he says they might work. So, this might be hinting at, obviously, this could be just talking about the DLC characters we're getting, you know, Dispo, Bergamo, and UI Goku. Deborah might be planning to do something with them. But I feel like it's gotta be... I feel like this might be hinting at that we're gonna get even more characters in this DLC pack. That sounds... I didn't realize that they said... that. Well, okay, in this case, though, they could mean singular or plural, you know? Because it might... It might they might be saying they, so they don't say, like, he or she, so that way we don't start getting a hint of who it could be. Because if they say she, then we would be thinking, like, oh, that's probably 18. 18 is like the only female character they've hinted at. They say they, I think they're referring, Deborah could be just referring to one person here. So it could be like a, a singular form. 
Which in that case, I think that's actually going to be a fourth DLC character and not just Bergamo. Because it'd be weird for them to be like, oh, we're getting this other character. And like now Deborah is also talking about another character. Like, I don't, it could just be one. I could be wrong. Or just talking about Bergamo here. Maybe that third character is crazy. I think it's just going to be Hero Vote for the Wish. Because it'd be weird for, because the thing with the Wish though is like, it'd be weird if Deborah already knows who it is. Like, I, I mean, timelines and Xenon. Like that, it could be something like that. Like Deborah's going to go back to a timeline. I don't know, but to me, what would be crazy with this is what if we're getting like Mechikabura from Heroes? Because in Heroes, Mechikabura is like basically the, I think he's the god of the demon world or something. Because you know, Deborah is the demon king, basically. King of the. Um, I think Mechikabura is like considered the god. So he's like Deborah's boss in a sense. So maybe we're going to get. Damn, that would be insane, and I would love that, because I've kept up with heroes. I read the manga and everything. Oh, I think that'd be sick, but what my other theory... I mean, <laughs> okay, two more theories here. One of them is, like, what if it's just, like, Bobbity? <laughs> like, could you imagine it's all this, and then the third and fourth character are Bergamo and Bobbity? <laughs> like, like what, where did Bobbity come from? But no, I think what this might actually be referring to is there's two interesting points to bring up here. So, right after Deborah says this line about they might work, Turns. So he turns towards the screen here, right? Now, to me, that is hint. I feel like that might be hinting at the they he's talking about is us, the player, aka our custom characters. I think that maybe for this next DLC story, it's going to be another Tokipedia thing, but we're actually going to get to choose to be good or evil. Because maybe Deborah can. And also, I just realized Deborah caught that. But maybe Deborah has some way that he can like turn us evil and that's his plan here. The fact that he turned towards the screen is what's making me feel that way. Because it's like he's saying they might work and he rises himself and he turns at us, the, the person watching. Obviously that could have just been to make it seem menacing, you know. But then the other thing for me too is right here at the very end. We was just talking about like, oh don't tell Supreme Kai a time Deborah woke up. And right here at the end they're talking about like, oh uh, so yeah, then they talk about at least we've got new warriors. Then Trunks said, "Because we've got all of the time patrollers here to help us in a pitch." And again, that to me just feels like foreshadowing. Again, it could just be like a, the cliche verse. So like, oh yeah, the time patrollers will save us. But that paired with the Deborah thing. Again, I'm just speculating. I could be crazy, and none of this happens. And I wouldn't even be surprised if I'm wrong. But I don't know. I feel like it, it could. I might again. I might be looking too deep into it, and I probably am. But I feel like the fact that Bora turns towards the screen and then Trunks is like, "Oh, we we don't have to worry. We have the time patrollers." I think it'd be fire if this is hinting at the time patrollers can be. And I would be so excited for that because that is what I wanted out of a Xeno. Get to actually pick to be good or evil. So. That's basically it that I wanted to say, though. Uh, like I said, I think the third character from The Wish is going to be Bergamo. Uh, unless GT Vegeta or 18 won the vote, you know? I feel like Bergamo probably got more votes then because they'll, because GT Vegeta is just base Vegeta and then 18 is just 18, you know? So I feel like Bergamo makes the most sense, but I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. DLC is supposed to be coming out summer still. But yeah, we'll find out, but... My opinion, I think it's going to be Bergamo, and then I think this could be hinting at, again, either a fourth character, or the Time Patroller is going to get to be. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, oh yeah, and then for the movie stuff, oh, I did mention it, I have to recap that. I think the movie, we probably are going to get DLC for that, but it's going to be later on in its own separate pack. I think it's going to be connected to this, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think, though, down in the comments below. Um, like, what you think this is hinting at, if any. And who you think we're going to be getting uh, as the third character. And what you think Deborah was talking about. Just all of this. Like, if you agree with me, disagree in what you think is going to happen. But yeah. Until next time, though. I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night.